Hi guys, welcome to my channel, I'm Kate. Working in the beauty industry, I get asked heaps of questions and they're usually the same ones over and over. So I thought I would make a video answering the most frequently asked questions. If you have any other questions that I don't answer in this video, feel free to leave a comment down below and I will do my best to answer them for you. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, so question number one, how often should I clean my brushes and how do I do it? This question gets asked heaps and a lot of people I know don't clean their brushes. It's really important too though because you get bacteria in them. They're not going to work as well if you're not cleaning them and you'll get the ha their hairs that fall out and stick to your face. I would say depending on how much you use them, clean them at least once a fortnight with more warm soapy water. You can use sort of soap, shampoo, you can actually buy brush cleaner as well. I just use Sard Soap from Coles, the Wonder Soap. Um, I feel because it's got a bit of bleach in it, it does help to completely clean out the brushes and kill any extra bacteria. So yeah, doing that once a fortnight, make sure you're washing them facing down, not up, because you don't want the water to drip into where like the handle is, because the glue can come loose and the bristles will start falling out all over your face. Um, so and lie them down flat to dry. As a makeup artist, I will clean mine with brush spray in between every client. You can get brush spray from most chemists um, and beauty stores. I use the Mecca Cosmetica one, which works really, really well. Um, it's a good one to use also like if you in between washes, especially the foundation brush because it tends to get really clogged up um, and your foundation doesn't go on as smoothly when all the bristles are stuck together. So yeah, using that in between washes um, or if you don't have time to do a big wash, it also helps to sanitize them too. Okay, so question number two, why do I need a primer? Primer acts as a barrier between your skin and your foundation. It also makes your makeup last heaps longer. It's really easy to find something that's going to cater to your skin needs as well as holding your makeup on longer as well. Uh, Smashbox has a really good range, like a really, really wide range of um, primers that work really well and they don't have SPF or anything in them, which is good for going out. So you can also get spray primers and you can get them from Smashbox and you can get the, Max, uh, the MAC Fix Plus, which works really well to dampen your beauty blender with when you're applying your foundation. It also makes it last longer. Question number three, how do I get my under eye concealer to stop creasing? There's a couple of ways to do this. The first one is you need to make sure that the concealer works for your skin. It's not too thick and it's not drying out your skin. Once you've got the right one for you and it covers everything you need to, you can set it lightly with a powder. Personally, I like to use a translucent powder just because I find it's a little bit finer than most powders um, and you can't, it doesn't cake up under the skin so you don't get like all the lines and everything. Question number four, how long should my mascara last? All makeup has use by dates. Mascara tends to last two to three months depending on the brand. After that, it starts to dry out and go gluggy. The way you can tell is on the packaging, it has this little symbol, which tells you how many months the product's good for after you open it. So yeah, mascara tends to be two to three months. It, you're really lucky if you can get it to last longer than that. Numero five is why do I get a white face in photos? You get a white face in photos because of SPF. It can be in your powder, your primer, your foundation, but any time a flash goes off, your face is just going to go white. Don't use things with SPF in it if you know you're going to have your photo taken. Even if it's just selfies and you're going to get a flash with your iPhone, your face will look white. So, and it'll take away all your contouring and all your hard work. So just make sure if you're going out that your products don't have an SPF in them and you should be fine. Question number six. What is the best eyeliner for an oily eyelid or a hooded lid? In my experience, waterproof has always worked best. And also putting it over top of like a um, crease reducing or an oil reducing primer, lid primer works really well as well. Um, just stops the transfer so much. And after you put it on, just sort of wait a minute till it dries before you open your eyes. The best product I found so far is the Still a Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner. It just doesn't smudge, it doesn't transfer, and it lasts a really long time. So give that one a go if you have problems with that oily eyeliner. Question number seven, how do I make my makeup last all night and all day? There's four things you can do. You can use a primer, a really full coverage foundation, so even if it does start to fade, you're still left with a decent coverage. A setting powder, this can be translucent if you want more of that sort of natural glowy look, or a matte one if you want it to look matte, um, and a fuller coverage, and a setting spray. A lot of people aren't sure if setting spray for work, but I've been using the Urban Decay one and I find it really, really, really helps. So yes, they do work. Question number eight, when should I curl my eyelashes before or after mascara? I would definitely say curl them before you do your mascara because otherwise it can stick to the eyelash curler. Um, it can clump your lashes together because the mascara is wet. Um, 
and it just, yeah, it doesn't look great if you do it after. So I would definitely say do it before. Question number nine, how do I make my lipstick last longer? Couple of ways, there's the type of lipstick you're using, which is really important, and that lipstick will always last longer than like a glossy one or a shinier one. Um, my two favorites are the Still A Stay All Day liquid lipstick. It literally, everything proof, eat, drink, kiss, it's not going anywhere. Um, lasts up to eight hours. I have been known to push it to 12, and it worked pretty well. Uh, the other one is the NARS Audacious lipstick. If you don't want something super matte, um, you, like if you've got really dry lips or something like that, it's creamy, but lasts as long as a matte and has like a semi-matte finish there. Amazing, and the colours are really beautiful. The other thing you can do is using a lip liner is going to change your life. So I use it to colour my whole lip in first, then apply my lipstick, then use it to go around the edge to sharpen up the edge lines. And I find this way, if my lipstick does fade, it fades a lot more evenly, so it doesn't look blotchy or faded or ombre where I didn't want it to be ombre. Last question, number 10. How do I colour match my foundation? This is the most frequently asked question I get on a daily basis. As always, I'm looking for a new foundation. I'm looking at this foundation, but I don't know what colour I am. A lot of people I see testing on the back of their hands or the back of their wrists. This is not the best way to do it because it's not the same colour as your face. So you're not going to be perfectly blended and you're not going to get the effect that you want. So I would say if you can, take off your makeup and try it on the side of your face and make sure it blends out and blends into your skin tone. If you don't want to take off your makeup and you just kind of really want to do it really quickly, try it on your chest because you do want your face to be the same colour as your chest and generally they're pretty similar. If you match to your neck, your neck is usually lighter because sunlight, your chin kind of acts like a little umbrella and the sunlight doesn't hit it as much so it's generally a little bit lighter than the rest of your face. So try doing it on the side of the face. If you can't do that, try it on your chest. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my videos, don't forget to give them a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Uh, don't be a stranger. Head over to Instagram, Kate Mackay Makeup, and I will speak to you soon. Bye.